Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bongo Collects. I'm going to be going through £250 worth of 50 pences and I'm quite excited about this one because I haven't done a 50p coin hunt on my own for quite some time. So let's see if we can get something for the book. This page is complete. I have Kew Gardens. So this book I'm going to con I'm going to keep going until I fill it because you don't often get an opportunity to fill a full book. When, uh, but you find the Holy Grail then you've got to keep going to the bitter end. So I need four Olympics, football, goalball, handball and uh, judo, which is a pretty tall order. Um, they've got judo and football, and I need wrestling. Them are three of the top five Olympics. So it's a pretty tall order. Goalball and handball are a little bit easier. But I've got everything else up to and including the definitive salmon. So let's see what I can do, or what we can do together, hunting through this bag of 50p's from the post office. So we've got rolly over bags inside. 25 wonderful bags. Let's hope it's a, it's a cash in. Someone's cashed in their collection and they didn't know what uh, treasures they had. And let's see if we get lots and lots of commemoratives. Um, mm, can't see immediately see where that one's from, but I'm sure I'll come across it. So yes, let's see what we can get. And uh, how amazing will it be to find something for the book? But if you can't find something for the book, then it'll just be hopefully a case of finding something that's worth more than the face value, more than the 50p that's stamped on it. And if I can't uh, do that, well, it'll be just nice to get some different commemoratives. You know, a nice, a nice spread. And I guess I suppose I'll settle for, if I, if I absolutely have to, I will settle for... Uh, not someone's throwback bag. So not a bag that's been hunted through previously by somebody else. So there's my first commemorative find, commemorating the representation of the People Act. So that was something to do with social kind of liberty in 19, 1918. The uh, little bit like the suffragettes movement, I guess, in terms of uh, making sure people have the right rights and liberties and that was an important act in 1918 and it was commemorated so the coin was commemorating a hundred years of it don't know the exact details i'm sure if somebody is that way inclined they can tell me in the comments or tell us all exactly what the people act was but it's got to be something to do with voting you know representing the representation so the representation of people Got to be something to do with that. I think I did know at one point, but uh, not anymore, unfortunately. I do know the mintage for it, though, which is uh, 9 million. 9 million minted. And they've got a second commemorative there. I'll just see if there's any more in this stash before we go on to see what it's all about. There wasn't, just that one. So I'm restacking these up because these are going back into the bank, so I need to put them back into rolly over bags. So this is the scouting movement celebrating the centenary from 1907 to 2007. There's the fleur de leaf there with the scouts motto on it. There is another version of this coin, same design on the other side, but the year is different. In fact, there's, more, in fact, there's two others. The, 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 uh, there's the two, there's at least one because they re-released it in 2019, or restruck it in 2019, and I'm sure they also restruck it in 2009. So 2009 commemorating 40 years of the 50 pence, and 2019 representing uh, 50 years since the 50p was first introduced. I might be wrong about the 2009, but I do, that, I do think it was there, part of that 40th anniversary set. I owned that set once. In fact, I've owned two versions of that set. 16 coins in it. I've owned the proof version. So in, in base metal, in the normal metal of the 50p, but in a higher finish, you know, the die's been polished and made to a higher standard. And I've also had it in silver proof as well. So again, high standard dies, but the base metal or the metal of it being a silver. And then... Uh, I had it and then sold them both. Got my money back on one and made a, a few quid. I can't remember exactly, maybe it was a £100 or so on the other one. They were just too expensive to keep hold of. was worried about getting 
and them torning or getting stolen or something like that. And then as it turned it out, we needed some money of Lady M's car. Going back out for 18 months maybe now. Lady M's car, M's car needed a lot of work to it. So that was it. Got them sold. Paid the car bill. Everyone was a winner. It was just nice to have owned it. There's Paddington at the Tower of London. Part of the 2019 Paddington set. Mintage, 9 million and 1,000. Mintage for the Scouts. Ooh. Seven or eight million. I think Girl Guiding is eight point something. So I think that's seven point something between seven and eight million. The Scouts. So everything so far is only worth the 50p that's printed on it. But I'm grateful for coming across different versions of the coins. There's nothing worse than getting a bust. That's for sure. And that has happened before where we found absolutely diddly squats. Right, there's a dictionary. High Mintage Dictionary hit 17 million. That one came out in 2005, celebrating the, or commemorating the, the Johnson's uh, Dictionary from 1755. That's when the jo Johnson's Dictionary was, I guess, first published or became, was in, uh, was in existence. This one, he goes back to 2017. Benjamin Bunny, very common, 25, uh, 25 million. Mintage, pretty common, and we look out for the ones that are rotated. So we spin Benjamin round if the Queen's facing the other way, then you've got a nice coin, but not today, Zerg, just the standard Doofen dangler. Apologies if you can hear Tekka guy and his mother in the background chatting away. They literally stood next to each other and basically talking in such a loud voice, they are crashing my audio. But, never mind, right, was this, is this the open bag? Possibly. Certainly wasn't completely sealed, that one. Mm, maybe as it was. Let's see what we uh, got in here. Should we have a little count? There was one on the, on the floor there, one on the, to the side. Let's have a look. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16, 17, so yes, that was probably the bag, whereas I uh, was short. And there was nothing in it anyway. Whatever was left, there was nothing exciting. It's the thing about coin hunting, you just never know. You can have absolute rubbish and then turn over a gem in the, you know, the last coin in the last bag can completely redeem it or you can have coinorama or you can have absolutely jack jack sh1t i look for the key dates as well as we go along so the the dates of the 50ps where they were not circulated where they were only available in the collector's sets. So do keep your eye out for them because they can be worth a few quid, at least kind of 30 pounds. Quite a, kind of track quite the premium, some of the, the later years. Found a couple over the years. Not found uh, one for a long, long time, so I'm due one. And you can sometimes get commemorative coins as well that weren't released for general circulation where someone's, you know, maybe got them for Christmas and Again, in a collector's pack, a commemorative set, and just spent them. Didn't want to keep them in the pack. Right, okay. So this one is a uh, coronation. This one is this. Oh, oh, no, it's not. It's the Queen's Memorial. For some reason, I thought I'd seen 2023 on there, but I didn't. I didn't see any year. Uh, the years on this side. So that's commemorating the Queen's Memorial. And the Queen passed away in 2000. And uh, oh, I've put Benjamin Bunny up there. Normally, we're going the pig. Yeah, the Queen passed away in 2022, and that coin was released to commemorate her sad passing. But yeah, I got a bit confused there looking at the, the obverse. I could have sworn I'd seen the year 2023, but I didn't. There was no year on it at all. Just got a little bit discombobulated for a second there. Oh, 
of a 17 shield. I'm just going to say absolutely nothing in that bag. So far it does point towards a potential bust. Potential nothing for the book, but you know, 2017 shield. I do keep these if they're in nice condition. That one's got, you know, got a few lines and it looks running, running that way. A little bit dirty there. So they have a little bit of value, 75 pence a pound maybe. Or sometimes if I have five in nice condition, I might sell them on and, you know, maybe it's a, out of five, I make a four, two or three pound profit maybe. It's hardly worth uh, selling to be honest, but I do it because I think ooh, it seems a shame just to put something nice, super nice back. So, anyhow. And I've got, I've got plenty, so I don't want to keep them all. But there's another memorial coin for the Queen. Charles is on the obverse, the heads side. to the last minute you can pull out the plum but I do it does feel very much like a a bag that a fellow coin collector has already rooted through don't know I didn't get any history on this one I did get this from my new old mate Sue she very kindly let me know that she had this in here to collect that have been paid in over the counter at the post office. And I think if she, if it had been a regular person, someone that she maybe knows who does coin collect or something like that, she probably would have told me, or at least, you know, maybe give me a different bag or whatever. So it does give me a little bit of, uh, it does please me a little bit. Or a little bit of hope that it's, uh, it's not going to be a total wipe out in terms of anything over face value. Right, them two there, and I'll talk you through them once I've just stacked these. We've got a Christopher Iron side, seven million of them minted, commemorating the person that designed the uh, the Britannia on the on the first fifty p. And this is a two thousand and seventeen shield. It's not in bad condition. I might just, mm, I might, I'll keep, I'll keep that one. And compare it to what I've got to see whether it's going to be worth uh, putting a little stash together on uh, on eBay. They don't sell that many coins, really. It can be more hassle than it's worth. But if I occasionally do, I'll put them on. Uh, well, one, I'll, I'll, I'll offer them to channel members first, just to give them a little bit of uh, a little bit of an extra perk for going that extra mile and. Pay 99 pence a month to become a member of the channel. I mean, not only do they get cool emojis and that they can use in chats and comments and they get a little logo next to the name and they're also invited to a monthly members-only live stream and they can play along with us and hunt through coins with us where we, or we do it on their behalf. So not only that, they do get first dibs on any coins that I might sell. Don't always take me up on it. Not always something, so there's only 50, 50 odd people, 56 at the last count. So it's not always for everybody, but I offer them first. Um, but if I do sell any as well, I would put some on eBay. There's Diversity of Build Britain, 2020 coin, just 50p. But first time we found it, so it's welcome. That's a, another dictionary. First one was in better condition. So yes, uh, eBay, I do sell the odd coin and some other bits and pieces as well. We do do a little bit of reselling, Lady M and I. And you can find our account, it's called I am Miracle Man 86 If you want to search, if you want to search and see what coins are for sale on there. And feel free to, uh, you know, take a look at any time. Miracle's quite a word, hard word to spell, I think. Miracle Man 86 Maybe I should change it to, to Bungle Bear. 
so you've got more chance of finding it. Although, say, bungle's not an easy word to spell. Usually auto corrects to bugle, as in blow, bugle ball, blow, which is on the 2013 50p of Benjamin Britten. Right there, Sherlock Holmes, 2019. 8.8 million of them minted, 10 million of them, 7 million of them, 17 million, 7 million something, 9 million, 9 million, 25 million, 9 million, 1.8 million. Which is three bags to go, and we don't have a stonker. We have not got an absolute doofin dangler. Let's see if we can pull one out in the last, the last three. There's Charles, that's another memorial. Oh no, oh no, got, and now we've got three bags left. There's two, two bags that look like there was only one bag, quite close together. A bonus bag, as it were. Well, it feels like a bonus. So it's a reprieve to find itself There's a dictionary I hope the lighting's okay it is I am filming this kind of tea time or dinner time whatever you call it kind of in the evening as the sun's going down in my side of town so the lighting's not great but hopefully it's still enough that's right, another dictionaries an ultimate bag. Come on, let's get the plums. Let's see what plumage. Oops. Fifty paid everywhere. Let's see what plumage is available. Was it a slow start? Are we going to finish with a bang, or have we already peaked too early? Are we going to get anything? Is there anything at all to be had? Oof. Let's hope the final bag brings a look. Come on, baby. Might even zoom in for this final one. Let's have a zoom in. And do a final bit of appreciation. Pray to the 50p gods. going out with a whimper. Yep, pretty much another dictionary. Never mind. Right, there we go. We are all done. Nothing for the book, unfortunately. But it's been nice to hunt along with you. Thanks very much for joining. I do appreciate you taking the time please do subscribe to the channel watch some of our other videos me and lady m are the main attraction in terms of trying to fill a book so you can fill their book first um consider becoming a subscriber or even a channel member and please do stick a like on the video and put something in the comments let me know how your day is going that's the plum that's the star find. it's certainly the lowest mintage and uh, thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next episode